So I was looking for a new challenge and after I saw a bunch of amazing works of art made in Photoshop and what you can do with this software, I decided that I want to learn how to use it to its full potential. So for the next 30 days, I will practice Photoshop for at least an hour a day. And to see my progress, I will try to create a poster with a photo of me in the first day and another poster in the last day of this challenge. So let's get started. First of all, I needed a photograph to work with, so I went outside and took one. Now that I have a photo, I will start editing and we will see what comes out. I started with basic adjustments, color, shadows, highlights, all this, and then with the pen tool, I created a mask in order to add a glow around me. I already knew how to do that because I've done it for my thumbnails before. The next step was to add a blur to the background because it looks nice. Then I added a text and a particle overlay because why not? And this is the final product and my actual skill level in Photoshop. This is a starting point for the 30 days Photoshop challenge. The first thing I did was to try and learn what each tool does. And then I started with the tutorials. On the second day, I learned some very useful shortcuts. How to zoom, how to move things around, how to full screen and all that. I worked with the spot healing brush tool and made the tree disappear. At the same time, I learned about blending modes, masks and selections. Day 3, I learned about layers, the brush tool and the amazing clone stamp. I learned more about masks and what you can do with them. Day 7. I learned about colors and how they can be manipulated to get the desired result. I changed the color of the wall and other objects to match the subject. Next, I managed to remove distractions from a photograph to make it look clean and nice. Day 21. I played with the settings and changed the color of a van. And after that, I learned a little about face retouching and the magic you can do with Photoshop. Day 27 and I just finished with the basics. For those who want to know, I followed a series of tutorials from a great YouTube channel named Flurn. They have a beginner series named Master Photoshop in 30 days, which is amazing and I recommend it to anyone who is new to Photoshop. Now let's get back to work and start learning composition. For my first composition, I followed a tutorial from the MDMZ channel. I figured that starting with a composition tutorial was the best way to learn and practice at the same time. That it's a fantasy composite created entirely with stock photos.
And this is the first composition I have made on my own. I started by separating the car from the background, which by the way it's a BMW N3 E30, a classic car. Next I tried to make some shadows as good as possible and match the car colors with the background. A crucial step because it makes the composition look more realistic. Then I changed the plate number to something more unique. And I worked to turn on the car headlights for a more cinematic look. That's my first composition and I really like how it turned out. Those are my first two compositions in Photoshop ever, and I think they look pretty good. Now it's time to move on to the goal of this video. This is day 30 of this challenge, it's time to use everything I learned this month to create the final poster. I started by separating myself from the background and then I made the grass disappear from my sneakers. And using several stock photos I aimed to create a cinematic background. After I was happy with the background, I added the car and followed almost the same process as the previous composition. Then I added myself and other details on the background. I added a little more fog to contribute to the overall atmosphere and of course I put on some text. And this is the final result, of which I am very proud, especially since I learned all these things in just 30 days. So that was a really fun challenge, I learned a lot of new things I didn't know were possible in Photoshop and I'm really proud of the results. For anyone who wants to start learning a new skill, whether it is a digital skill like Photoshop or any other skills in general, my advice is just start doing it. Thank you very much for watching and please write in the comments what skills I should learn in the next video. Until next time, I will leave you with another challenge I did.